Okay. Looks like it's working. Let's give it five seconds. It'll start dropping frames. Okay. It was a driver's issue. Incredible. Okay. Probably why they had a driver's update today, but it was clearly working fine yesterday, so I don't fucking know. Now let's fucking start this shit. Hey, is that working? Jesus, that took an insanely long amount of time. What the hell? Hey, it's working. <sighs> Let's just double check the audio. I f Driver updates and or any PC updates, I have to recheck the audio every time. I need to remember that. Okay, yeah. Well, it's good. I'm not dropping anything this time. Oops. Wrong file. Alright. We are good to go, friendos. So let's play this through. And I'm going to the bathroom. Master Archibald, is there something on your mind? Ah. Goddess be good. I must be getting on in years for you to be able to sneak up on me like that. What troubles you? I was only reminiscing. Windy days like these tend to blow my mind back a couple of decades or more. <laughs> reminiscing about what? The Salt Iron War. Hard to believe it's been 30 whole years. Some days I almost forget my time as one of the saintly seven. I defended the Citadel of Sand through the conflict. I was there when Esfrost attacked. A number of Roselin prisoners who tried to escape the source were there too. Including Our Lady Frederica's dear mother. What's this? She stayed behind all by herself to help the countless numbers of her fellow Roselle flee. That's how she was captured. But I knew we couldn't hold the Citadel. So I helped her and her friends escape in secret before the enemy attacked. The wind blew just as hard that night as it's blowing now. I'll never forget watching the Roselle caked all over in mud as they slipped away into the dark. So you didn't want innocents to get caught up in the coming battle? It never settled right with me. The way the goddess's teachings permitted abuse of the Roselle for the supposed sins of their past. A person's life isn't worth more or less just because of the conditions of their birth. Okay. More than anything, I was moved by the selfless acts of Lady Frederica's mother. She reminded me of what I had once aspired to be. She was able to do what I never could. Risk her life to save her friends. 
I couldn't let someone like that die. Not on my watch. It wasn't long until the other saintly seven discovered what I'd done. They branded me a traitor, stripped me of my title, and sentenced me to death. Of course, I slipped out of their clutches before they could have my head. <laughs> I wandered for a while before taking up life as a merchant under the King of Glenbrook's Patchum. I never knew you and Lady Frederica's mother shared such a past. Well, it is in the past. Anyway, let us return. This cold night wind is making my old bones ache something fierce. Woohoo! Yeah, I know. I have to do a graphics, uh, what, video... Video card update. That was a... Apparently, it was making... So... I feel like this is like something they intentionally do like when you make an update it like forces all things pertaining to the graphics card to like fuck up completely but how would you even do that right well, it's so i don't know the body of lord Dragan. some superstitious shit so my son has finally returned home Is something the matter? I think it better not to look, my lord. And... And why is that? His face. There is no vestige of the handsome lad he once was. Oh... Oh, my son. I understand. You are dismissed. I am so sorry, my boy. Please forgive your pitiful excuse for a father. I will find the one who did this to you. I swear it. Yeah, there's just a graphics update. Do I use GeForce? Um, sometimes, but not all the time. It is installed on my computer though, so maybe that's it, but I have no idea. This time I just flat out updated it. Whatever, man. Ridiculous. Water! On your feet! Water, please! Get back to work! You aren't the only one who's thirsty. I can't watch this shit. It's fucking cruel as fuck. Yucky, yucky. Sarah Noah, do you have a moment? All right. <clears throat> You said we received a delivery from Minister Sorsley. Yes, mostly food and materials, plus a considerable amount of coin. That is... quite kind of him. House End is a wealthy one, even by Hyzant standards. This would barely put a dent in their coffers. We have distributed the resources as needed. We've even managed to restock our reserves. Wish I could be happy for the help, but I can't say I am. Agreed. Relying on them comes at a price. They will be looking for recompense. Okay, so we're gonna vote on Sorcery. Okay, we're we're pretty close to another path then, right? Here, let me. 
Yeah. How am I today? I got bitten by like eight mosquitoes. Or I got eight mosquito bites, is what I'm trying to say. Shit was cruel. But not that bad. But sucks. No, they're not getting in the house. I was just in the backyard. I made sure they didn't get in the house this time. Spend all my money on that, hell yeah. Hey, that's cool. But now I'm poor. Again. <laughs> Dude, you burn through money in this game so fucking fast. Jesus. Uh, morality. I mean, it makes sense though. All the. Tier 3 mats in this game are, like, hyper expensive, so. Why was I out in the backyard? I was playing the cats in the grass. Right before stream. But they seem pretty rowdy today. Because it, it was raining all day today, earlier. So. Ah, <sighs> they don't like the rain. Yeah, today, there should only be, like, two story parts we have to watch. And then everything else will be stuff that we've seen already. So we do this, uh, what is it? So we talk to Benedict. We must decide. Benedict Pole. Uh, we should transport the salt to the duchy. Uh, there's no guarantee we'll succeed in exposing Sorsley, we should fail. We would make enemies in both house and in the holy state itself. Regardless of the motives, we owe him a debt, and I would rather not repay kindness with betrayal. Right now, House Wolfort stands alone, without exclusive Minister Sorsley's report. Quite true. <clears throat> Just the time, Ben, I think I'd like to continue our discussion. Certainly not. I think exposing Minister Sorsley is kind of be a reckless course of action. Uh, it is. We haven't. Okay, no. Minister Sorsley is no fool. I doubt he would blindly trust us to carry out such an important deal. Shaking Hazan's faith as one of the Saint Lucian will be nigh impossible. I mean, the third one's true, and everything else kind of. Hmm. Interesting. In worst case, we'd be considered heathens trying to disturb the peace. Uh, I lad. Can't imagine a proud owner house committing crimes. Considering doing the dirty work, why? Uh, as N has given up money and provisions, would reporting them not be buying the hand that feeds? Hmm. Let's see. Minister Storsley leaves no fool. There's no doubt where you look. While I believe Minister Exham would help us find the Minister Sorsley's guilty, we have to be careful to, of him. He's no doubt 
another trying to use us as his pawn. Tonight is a great crime he's committing after all. A servant of his booker is nothing to sneeze at. If we're not careful, it'd be our heads beyond the chopping block, okay? Consider this. I'm sure you thought long and hard, but still just thinking about dirtying our hands. If our accusations fall on deaf ears, we'll make an enemy on both House Anna and the Holy State. Yeah. That's pretty true too. I understand we must do this to see how Wolf would survive. These are uh, meh. This is pleading. Running away from our problems will avail us nothing. Ill earned. Though it may be we need House Anne's coin. We don't really need it, but. Uh. Troubles in thought, dude. Can I overlook Minister Sorsley's black market dealings? Let alone be a party to it. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, right now, House Wolfort stands alone. We are in sore need of House End support. There is a time and place for everything, and now is just not the time to bring Minister Sorsley's of justice. <sighs> Minister Sorsley is one of the saintly seven. Proving him guilty would be a struggle, even with evidence. That's true, but I don't know. Do we just do number one again? I wonder if we just do number one again. I mean, we'll restart if we mess it up. Until we stop helping us, we report him. Found to have helped. Don't you think we'd incur the entirety of Hyzant's wrath? In that case... I admit I am more than curious as to why you want to be accomplice to Minister Sorzel's illicit ceilings. Our relation with Esfras is strained enough as it is. I'd rather not make an, any more enemies if we avoid it. I wish to know Esfras' true intentions. We might glean something new if we go there. I heard rumors of Minister Exham. He is... Looks reliable at first glance. I don't know if we can truly be trusted. I see. I see. If we report Minister's wrongdoings, and we soon find ourselves at war with half end. Making it more difficult for these salt. Yeah, okay. Cool. And then we just talk to Anna. Lord Saranoa. <clears throat> If we know the House of N illicit operations work, we may figure out a way to get the upper hand. That's true. There's no harm gaining Minister Sorcery's trust regardless of what unfolds in the future. That's pretty whatever. I'd do whatever it takes to defend my domain, legal or not, and I'm prepared to face the consequences should we be caught. Nah. See, it would be easier to find the craftsman of defense from the inside and may even give us an opportunity to strike. Yes. That is our aim. I think it's well worth the risk. Uh, Ahas's honor is trivial at best. We need to pay in mind. Right now, we must do everything in our power to keep our people alive. Half standing, so long as we do, there will be a chance to reclaim our honor. The words of an outsider likely mean little against Saintly Seven. We bring. Charges against Mr. Sorsley, he may just lay all the blame at her feet. Certainly. He might use her power and position to indict us. Okay. Cool.
Do we approach? I will put my. I agree. Okay, cool. We did it. Yeehaw. The way forward is decided. I don't even know if you can mess that up. We have chosen our path. But we shall do as Minister Sorcelay asks and deliver the salt to Esfrost. Now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we must not falter. Anna, begin the preparation. As you wish. Ah, <sighs> cool, yo. No good deed is the product of selflessness, and Minister Sorcelay's intervention on the Woolfort's behalf is no exception. In exchange for their livelihoods, Sarah Noah and his entourage must transport Sorcelay's illicit salt across their borders, with no pride left to bolster them. They have little choice but to obey. Preparations a somber for jury are a somber I affair. Guess. The cart's ready, my lord. That feeling when your cat is clawing at the door, you open it for him, and then he just Puts his butt in your face and then runs away. As are the disguises. <laughs> None will suspect us to be aught but common merchants. Good. And let us prepare for our departure. Oh, just look at what we've been reduced to skullduggery and deceit. Whatever honor we had is losing its luster by the day. Gold Duggery. I don't even know why I think that's that saying's funny. It's Gold Duggery. I think we've seen this before. So, I am Queen. What should I do? You should listen to the Archduke and obey. We seen this. No need. <sighs> it's funny because Cordelia's character is actually really busted for a healer. Because she has Regen. Everyone and Regen's really strong cart, in this game. My lord. We await your orders. We cannot use the main road. This journey will not be an easy one. I suspect not. Minister Sorcelay's instructions were clear. We are to secure a new route through our domain that will not draw unwanted attention. We've drawn up a rough map. It passes through uncharted wilderness and treacherous mountains, places which no common travelers would dare traverse. My scouts have also reported rumors that the area is inhabited by bandits and beasts alike. To make no mention of the dismal weather on the horizon. Regardless, why don't you just get a region healing? It's true. We have an appointment to keep after all. I think um I can't actually even get her. I'd have to play the game all over again because I think if you get Cordelia, you can't get the golden path. So the chances of me ever seeing her in action is slim to nothing. Unless I'm trying to collect all the characters, in which, no. <laughs> Under the cover of Rainfall, <laughs> no. House Wolfwood okay. leads a cart full of salt northward through the treacherous mountain passes where few dare to tread. However, the rain quickly turns from help to hindrance as it batters down on the riders, making the ground treacherous and the path ahead clouded in mist. The party stops to wait out the weather and determine their next course of action. Bandon Village. I think... 
we've seen this before, but only on like the ma the mock battles. Yeah. There's nobody here. It should make a perfect spot for camp. Are you certain, my lord? Do you lack faith in our scouts? Uh, of course not, my lord. I just mean, it is hardly a place for a prince of Glenbrook to sleep. Are we to crouch in range rent shadows in the pursuit of clandestine dealings? Need I remind you? I am prince no longer. We must take such shelter as we can find. But even so, that is no reason to forget who you were. Is aught amiss? Nothing at all. However, I believe I found a place for us to set camp. The road ahead is treacherous, and we would do well to rest and wait out the rain. I am in agreement, my lord. Pushing further in this weather would be unwise. <sighs> Very well. Let's inspect the surroundings before setting camp. Yeehaw. Oh, I wonder how the others are feeling about the situation you find yourselves in. I had best talk. Keep an eye. Can I go inside these buildings? Money. Money's always welcome. Ooh. More sparkle sparkles. How do you get up there? Weird. Why would you have to play again to be able to get the region healer? Um, you would have to play again, the story all over again, because there's like a branch in the path that grant, like gives you a character or a different character. Cool cat, cat face. Um, there's a branch in the path that gives you a choice of four characters, one of them being uh, Milo the dancer. But you need to get, take the Milo path to get the golden path, which sucks. So I would have to play the game three more times in order to get all the characters on one file. What a fucking nightmare. I don't envy anybody that wants to do that shit. Unless there's a, another way, I have no idea. No, I'm not gonna play this game more to get all the characters. The characters aren't different enough for me to care. Right? We already got all the cool characters that I saw, so it's like I don't care anymore. Definitely time to just get the endings. Okay, I don't, I don't care at all. Cause also the characters that you get from those the uh, branching chapters, two of them, it's like you can't even get one or the uh, one and the other. You can only get one or the other. It's the bandits, the orange-haired bandits, the daughter and father group and then uh cordelia or milo i think that's what it was i don't remember off the top of my head if that's like, exactly what it is but yeah i think that's what it is oh let me get down help this game is holding me hostage because i'm bad okay so Get down. You can talk to everyone. Okay, we will. Ooh. Saw it. Old wanted posters. Here you talk to the cat cat. No, I won't. getting all the steam achievements doesn't really matter to me. 
I'll do all the Steam achievements if they're fun. Like, there's some Steam achievements that are just like, uh... Get all the characters, they don't tell you how to do it, and it's just like, okay, maybe that'll be cool, and it's not. One of them for, like, Final Fantasy IX was like, uh, get every single disease and or affliction possible, and then cleanse it all in one go. And I tried doing that on stream, and then it turns out I was missing one, and uh, I never wanted to do that shit again. <laughs> that was... Ugh. Yucky. I even went down the list, but I just wasn't, uh... This is definitely a skill issue on reading. How to read, 101. anything else I just need to double check because we're not gonna come back here that's for damn sure poison recovery anything that's talk about either uh, okay I think we're good I don't see anything else I feel like getting all the endings is pretty substantial for playing this game. Can't you sleep, Saranoa? We have a long day ahead of us. Thank you, but I'm fine. Why are you still awake? The rain. Will it ever end? No storm lasts forever. The sun will greet us in the morning, I'm sure. I can only hope. Optimism is sorely needed in these troubled times. However, it will be prudent to plan for the worst. No need to lecture, my lord. He was just comforting his dear bride-to-be. No, Jilai's right. If the ring continues, we shall have to find another way around. Regardless of the path we take, our destination remains the same. Stifling swamps clogged with insects and worse. I understand your misgivings. All the more reason for us to win Minister Sorsley's trust. And what is his trust worth? He relishes in dangling accolades in front of those foolish enough to grasp for them. I won't let that bastard toy with us. Doubtless he feels the same about us. The salt is gone. How on the blazes did that happen? Bandits. They've made off with everything in our cart. Oh, we and literally were gonna fight soul. bandits? I apologize. Mountain clans are generally not known for their skillet stuff. What's done is done. They can't have gone far. Find them. Okay. Hi, Gumby. What do you want? I wonder if we just go straight into a battle. Oh wow, we literally just got straight into a battle. Cool. Anything cool? Ugh. What good? You! You're the bandits that waylaid us before! Whether you were brave or foolish to be using these roads, seems I have my answer. Brought your lordly friends to help you take revenge, have ya? I believe you stole our cargo. We'll be taking that back if you don't mind. Your lords always have such big mouths. You traipse into our home and demand tribute? Your titles mean less than not here. It's you who should be begging for mercy. Shut your damn mouths! We ain't listening to the demands of rabid beasts. Beasts? You got some nerve when it's you who's growing fat with your ill-gotten salt. We aren't daft. 
If you had permission to sell this cargo of yours, then we wouldn't have had the good fortune to meet you in this forsaken wilderness. <sighs> Nothing to say to that, huh? <laughs> well, if you don't mind. And if you have any objections, then you're welcome to take them up with us. Okay, I wanna... It's probably thunder, right? It's rain. Rain all day. I sell spellcasters where... Fire. That's weird. Fire. <laughs> okay. Understood. Uh, am I missing anybody? Alright, we are good to go. Oh, we didn't promote any of the characters we were using. Whatever. We fine. Return our souls and there will be mercy. <laughs> Not likely. Besides, weren't us in the wrong? You don't want your stuff swiped, you sleep with both eyes open. Everyone knows that. No use talking to these pampered nobles. Best just stick them with a blade and be done with it. Ready for wow, she's so fast. My turn. Time to work. I shall protect you. Can you traverse? Up here. Look carefully. It ends. Count on me. Here you go. Close. This must work. I'll try my best.
Oh god, you got fury. Not this time. Yuck. That's it. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, we have to start going for these guys over here. For sure. Is if we it my don't. Turn? I wonder if we just do the combo and not give a shit. I must put an end to this bloodshed. already raining, so we already got the lightning buff for Zana. She also doesn't have any items on her, I think. So, because I equipped them to Frederica yesterday. Whatever. Yeah, this combo is so busted. Holy shit. I just did... I did 150... 
damage to everybody, at least. Probably 175. Must keep a clear mind. Overall, I don't know. Ready for battle. You're wide open. <sighs> Oh, did I just get her killed? My spy kill feels bad. I see a path to victory. The dawn speak. Twenty one. Dude, she is so fast. Oh, ready. Holy cow. I, how come she hasn't been able to move yet? I think that's another question, but whatever. If I do this, he won't be poisoned anymore, it. right? Oh my, he got invincibility back. Dude, Kohawk is in the cheapest character in this game. Still move. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so cheap. It is so cheap. Give it my all. Oh, careless of me. 
down on me. Here you That's go. Much better. Because that's literally what it is. I shall do that's what I how can. I remember it. Kohog from Family Guy. Yeah. I mean, that's how they pronounced it. So it's like, oh, that's cool. Fair enough, for I am by your side. Is this how it ends? I'll take you on. So try my level best. My turn. My knowledge grows deeper. On my honor as the dawn speak. It ends here. Very well. Who do we kill first? Oh, we can't even kill him. Wow. The heavens rain. The heavens bless me. Superior. For the greater good. Here you go. Here you go. She will kill me if I don't go back into the shadows so we can't slumber Suffer found strike into the shadows cool I think he's dead. Let me heal your wounds. Okay, we're good. I got scared. Your wounds are I can keep going. I see a path to victory. Ah, <sighs> dragon shield. This must work. Ready for battle. Hope you're ready. Yeah! Got it now! On my honor as the dawn speak. Prepare yourself. I've been waiting for this.
Look to my shield. Why well, I still got the frenzy on him. Holy shit, that's insane actually. Whoa, he still keeps the invulnerability bubble from the other one. From uh Bendix. What the hell? Very well. The heavens rain. Whatever it takes. Here you My go. Thanks. I think I killed Anna again. Oh god. What a nightmare. Yep, I definitely killed Anna. Uh, time stop is too... I don't want to plan that far ahead. I'm just too much of a bum. <laughs> I mean, we can try, but this isn't going to work out. Yeah, see, people are already getting out of stop. Izanis is way too slow. Her not having any items is like... This makes us too shitty of a combo. Definitely kill this dude. Suffer sound strike. It's over. Those who oppose the heavens shall fall. He'll hit at least seven. That's still okay. Forward. Surprising, really. I shall try my level best. What is her speed? 38? What? How do you have 38 speed? That is insane. Holy shit. She is insane.
coming through. You are on a... We are nothing like you. Just give up. Impossible. <laughs> Is it my turn? Take this. I shall protect you. Take it from here. Uh... Will this work? I think I just killed my healer. You've done it now. Yeah, I think she's dead. Cause she does so much damage. Oh. She's running away, why? Time to work. Wild. Okay. Well I got away with murder. Feels good. This is the end. Ow! Shall we begin? This ain't ideal. You'll have to get through me. Kill me too. Very well. I see a path to victory. What to do? <clears throat> we must stay vigilant. Behold true power. The heavens rage. You won't beat me. Perfect opportunity. Oh, impossible. That worked, huh? Here goes. I must hold firm. See how much damage we can do to her. Not that much. Okay, then we just do this. Oh my god, really? Incredible. Look carefully. She can actually still catch up to me too. That's crazy. Time to work. Shadows can see me. The 
Have I ever eaten at Wingstop before? Uh, I used to like it, like, around 2000... 2012? I haven't... I haven't thought about that place in so long. I'll make this quick. Time to take action. So no, I haven't been there recently. I can't. I can't say that I have. <clears throat> oh no. This is far from Usually, when I went to Wingstop, it was Atomic Wing. Count on me. But I feel like that's like old news. Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong place. Whatever's the hottest, I always got that. Here you go. You. Shall we begin? Here. I appreciate it. You won't beat me. Perfect opportunity. <laughs> I shall try my level best. Can I reach him? No. This ain't ideal. the dawn spear <laughs> look carefully prepare yourself today but the mountains have long memories mark my words yeehaw we're only taking back what is ours if you insist on bearing a grudge then indulge yourself your victory is within reach it's over whatever it takes Strike while the iron's hot. We can do this. Hopefully she comes to us. For the honor of the House archer. That'd be cool. What a mess. I see a path to victory. This will serve well. I shall do what I can. For one and all. I owe you. My growth is plain to see. I must keep a clear mind. <laughs> this will not be taken for granted. Very well. I shan't hold back. Look carefully. Strike true. Ow. 
Time to work. Shall we strike? Unite under the wolf or banner. For my kith and kin. Time to take action. This is far from over. Not be taken for I will follow you faithfully until the end. I shall try my level best. Shall we begin? Let my guard down! You craven bastards and your castle forged weapons! I'll stick them in your back next time we meet! Yay! We're doing it! We just have this healer to kill. I'll do my utmost. If I still breathe, I still fight. Look carefully. My time is now. I must put an end to this bloodshed. My turn. This ain't ideal. Where shall we strike? I shall try my level best. Preparation is key. Those who oppose the <sighs> shall fall. Strike while the iron's hot. Let's do this! I can feel it! Is it my turn? Oh my... Oh, I thought she actually reached. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. For the greater good. Let me heal your wounds. My turn. We did it! I feel stronger already. Okay, cool. We're doing it. I think that's a bangle of vitality? I have no idea what that is. I'd heard the wolf forts had fallen on hard times, but it seems that just made them tougher. I don't feel like dying today. We'd best run. We won't forget this. House Wolfort owes us a debt, and we'll come to collect before long. Charming company. How unfortunate that they've left us. Now then. What were we talking about before we were interrupted? I think we've had enough discussion for the night. We've recovered the salt. And I'm sure they won't be so bold as to attack again so soon. Let us rest our injuries. Tomorrow shall bring a new day. We must ever look forward to what it contains. Do you have any objections to that, my lord? None at all. Let us make camp. I shall pray that more bandits do not greet us when the sun rises. House Wolford fights back the bandits, escaping through the treacherous mountain pass with nary an injury but to their pride. Disguised as common merchants, they cross the border into Esfrost.
Should be just up ahead. But I can scarce keep track of my own head in these mists. We walked into an ambush and a scout ahead and... What's happening? We may be walking into an ambush. Anna, scout ahead and... It's too late for that. It's too late for that. Okay, weird. I don't know what happened there. Don't move. It won't go easy for you if you do. Of course, you'll have no quarrel from us. What? That hair? As I thought, Frederica. That means your companions must be the Woolforts. What in the world has brought you to this desolate place? <laughs> With no choice but to acquiesce to Sorcelay's demands, House Wolfort loads a merchant's cart with contraband salt and sets off across their own homeland in disguise. Through benighted forests and desolate mountains, they forge a path, staving off the assault of thievish bandits and finally reaching Esfrost. Upon crossing into new territory, they find themselves surrounded by soldiers clad in black. Expecting yet another skirmish, the Wolfords steal themselves for combat. However, the warriors lower their weapons. Through the mists, an unexpected figure appears, Sparog Esfrost, Lord of Twinsgate and Keeper of his country's borders. I feel like... Sparog... would be like, a really good... teammate? This is quite the development. My very uncle, buying salt outside of the Consortium's purview. The lion's share of the surprise is mine, I assure you. Who would be aiding me in this illicit endeavor but the noble Wolforts? Circumstances have caused us to set aside pride for the sake of survival. Of course, I understand. Oft we must travel the only road available to us. And what road has brought you here, uncle? I cannot imagine you have come with Gustadolf's blessing. What road indeed? My own circumstances have caused me to... Look outside my humble station to find the means I require. The reckoning is at hand, and I must needs be ready for it. Hmm. To that end, I must ask. And pray do not waste my time with mistruths. Do you know who murdered my son? No. I'm sorry. I see. Gustadov would have me believe that an agent of Glenbrook dealt the fatal blow. That's impossible. Is it? You speak as if you were there, Frederica. She was. As was I. We were with Dragan during his... During his final moments. You were? And yet, you do not know who killed him. I will ask once more. And once more only. Who murdered my son? We were the only representatives from Glenbrook at the mines that day. The arrow that killed your son was loosed by an Esfrosty soldier. We were attacked and fought back the assault, but they did not flee without a parting gift. Hmm. Your story is convenient, but that alone is no reason to discount it. Besides, it does offer an interesting perspective on the matter. Let us say you have the truth of the matter. That would mean... Gustadov has been lying through his teeth. That would come as a shock to many, I'm sure. Regardless, nightfall is come. Camp within our gates tonight. Do you believe us? What is there to believe? This meeting never occurred. Mm. Now follow me. 
We've definitely never seen this. That's for sure. That's a vote. Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely have never seen this before. That is pretty cool. So, that's how it went, eh? Glad you came back to us with your head on your shoulders. Given the lies he's been fed, it couldn't have been easy for Svarog to keep his composure. Still, it will be no easy task to assuage his doubts. I fear it may not be long until he gives into his desire for revenge. Justified or not. Perhaps. But I very much had the sense that his opinion of Gustadolf was less than favorable. So long as we share the same enemy, there's a chance to build faith between us. I had the same intuition. Would that we could lend weight to our claims. There must be something that can sway him. Perhaps a secret will suffice. We have one of great value to the right person. Huh? What are you on about? No. You can't mean... None would rather see the Archduke laid low more than I. If Farag knew I still lived, we might find common cause. With the Prince of Glenbrook behind him, his opposition would be justified. The enemy of our enemy, eh? Wish we had more than feeling to go on. Once this secret is revealed, there will be no turning back. Oh, okay. It is I see. a gamble, yes. However, this may be our best and only option to gain support from within Esfrost. There is much to consider. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Do we keep Roland's secret our secret? Or do we trade it for a potential ally? I think we tell him. I'm down to tell him. Lord Svarbrog's trust for Roland's safety. Okay. Shiny shinies. Oh, wait, I don't want to talk to you yet. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a cat. I... Cat Chronicles? Speak to all cats. That's an achievement, apparently. Okay, great. <laughs> what? Cat Chronicles. I want the information to be like a note. Humans are foolish. Unlike us cats, they do not know when to give up. Humans are cunning. They are more than willing to deceive others than we are. Humans are greedy. They fight for territory more fiercely than we do. Humans are cruel. They torment their prey more thoughtfully than we do. Humans are rash. They could learn a thing or two from us about patience. Humans are dim ones. They're too slow to save their fish from our paws. Humans are thick-headed. They trample carelessly upon our tails. Humans are dishonest. They call cats other than their own cute. Still, humans are dear to us. They love us no matter what. Rub against their leg and they will pet us to our heart's content. Humans are foolish after all. <laughs> okay. They ain't wrong. Oh, you can head outside? Whoa. Uh... Okay. I kind of want to head back in because I don't... I didn't fully explore. I mean, there's not much to explore. I mean, we literally just did. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord Svarvrog was concerned for Lady Frederica when the Archduke invaded Glenbrook. To see her unharmed has put both of him and us soldiers at ease. Might I inquire what brought Lady Frederica and her how new house all the way to Twins Cave? I would ask you instead why Svarvrog engaged in such dealings? Made journey to protect both houses, that's all. Well. 
I surmise such a bold answer means that you have nothing to hide. I'm beginning to feel like there's more than interrogation and incident question. My sincerest apologies if I made you feel as such. If you truly wish for an answer, ask for the spark rock yourself. I shouldn't be responding in a stead. Most of the soldiers stationed here at Twinsgate have worked with Spark Rock for years. As such, we trust his judgment. No harm will befall you as long as you have his permission, no matter the reason. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is this the ladder? No, this is the gate, right? Ah, uh, told us not to announce your visit of the Archduke, such as an edict means that he doesn't want others finding out what happens here. It's suspicious to say the least. Yeah. Ranged HP healing. Masked Man bears a striking resemblance to the famed Sir Maxwell. Though he may be rival to the duchy, I respect him deeply as a fellow warrior. But he gives us such a younger air than I thought he would. Sir Maxwell hides all he can from his enemies, his age included. As a warrior, he would be loath to let others use anything against him. Sir Maxwell is younger than you might think and sensitive at, about it as well. You, sh you would be wise not to treat him as an old man. <laughs> but if he cares so much for his appearance, why does he hide it behind a mask? That is because he wishes not to expose his enemies to unsightly visage. That he might show upon defeat. I see. So it's a sign of respect to any other who would best him in battle. The Don Spear is both a gentleman and a soldier. I was always admired Sir Maxwell, but he had given me newfound respect for him. Okay, cool. I seem to start pretty late today. Yeah, I had uh, I had to update my graphics driver. And, uh, that fixed my problem where OBS was crashing on me. Or it wasn't even crashing, it wasn't able to, uh, it wasn't able to give me frames to stream on. I was dropping frames all day, so, I don't know. Pretty odd, honestly. Because I, I had perfectly, I was able to stream perfectly fine yesterday. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, Gustadolf has Svorvrog sent all the way here to Twinsgate. Soldiers like us were likewise forced to borders alongside him because of the bad blood. Overcome with grief when he heard his son's murder. Gusadolf claimed it was King Brenna who gave up the order. But what we saw in the mines uh, proves otherwise. How could we get Sparfrog to believe us? Whatever our path, we must tread carefully. The matters of the son's death is a sensitive one. Oh, we gathered every single piece of information in the game. Okay. That is cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
To get the golden path, you must reveal Roland's identity. I am down. Okay, so who are we talking to? Roland's identity... Turn... Okay, we're talking to Frederica... I... You get... Okay, do you truly think it's worth your reveal? Prince Roland... Uh, we want dresses for Lord Dragan, as does... Or it's Fat Frog. Showing him that Roland lives may convince him that we have no part to play in his son's murder. Hmm, we must take risks to prove our determination. Hmm. I think you'd be the second one. Hmm. I don't know. The first one is okay too, but it's not like it's amazing. True, in the absence of more concrete evidence, revealing Prince Roland's identity may be our only option. The risks still weigh on me, but I see now that we stand to both earn Spot Rug's trust and avenge Lord Dragan. By doing so, may I speak with you further to clarify your own thoughts on the matter? And How do you see Lord Spot Rug? He is a man who also wishes to overthrow Gustadolf and those who... Those with common enemies make potential allies. He is someone who holds boundless ambition and acquires a cause around, which to rally a cause I believe we can provide. Is Frederica's uncle? As such, I trust him. Mm. The first one is like the most sensible one. This one is weird. And this one's black. Let's Quite do one. true. Potential ally driven out by Twinscape. Damn, I have to go to the bathroom again. My bad. Again. Oh, be right back. Ugh. I think it would be possible to convince my uncle without revealing Prince Roland's identity. Lord Favrog is suspicious of us. We have to first forthright with him. We already gain his trust. Yes. Restoring household court takes precedent over the prince's secret. Uh, remember why Roland donned the mask in the first place? The duchy has no interest in those who are of no use to it. We must make it clear that there is a value in negotiating with us. Um...
I think it's the first one. I see. My m uncle is not a man who would go back on his word. If we tell him the truth, perhaps we will understand. But... If my brother were to find out Roland's life could be in danger. I need a moment to think. I failed. For sure. Oh no. If he is your uncle, then he is mine as well. I'm sure he can come to an understanding. He's a man bold enough to vie for power against Gusadolf. I do not believe he's in the habit of casually revealing secrets. I feel like 1-1 one, one is fine too, but I feel like... Surely. Yeah, you can rely on my uncle to be discreet. He's not one to spout lie. I know without a doubt he holds great animosity towards the Archduke. If we can show that our object objectives are aligned, he may very well choose to fight alongside us. Here's what I think. I know Spatbrog is not in Gustav's corner, but he's in Esfrosty at all the same. I can't say um as anything else. I can't see him as anything else, okay. Yes we can. Doing so might learn Spavrog's trust and win him for a cause. It is the enemy of our enemy, not our friend. We have no other choice if we were to convince Spavrog that we had had not to do with him. Are you joking? And so... Uh, Frederick seemed to think him trustworthy when he was... She lived in Esfrost, so I believe he can keep a secret. He's an ambitious man with no love for the Archduke and a father consumed by grief, as we prevent his son. You're onto something. Lad, if I didn't know better, I'd swear you could read minds. I size them up exactly the same. Hatred he feels towards his boy, murdered, threatens to eat him alive. I've made Fourth up my mind. Alright, cool. And then we just talk to Anna. Revealing Prince Roland's identity may win Spavrog's cooperation, but at what cost? Lord Saranoa. I have yet to arrive at the decision. What are your thoughts? Um, I believe we want to reveal. Uh, we need Lord Spavrog on our side if we were to restore Wolfort. I believe securing his cooperation to be worth the risk. We have nothing. Oops. We have nothing else with which to bargain. Revealing his identity may well be our best move. Sparvarg remains suspicious of the Archduke. He might aid us if we can prove that we do not murder his son. I mean, I guess. I feel like... Yes. And we must first restore our house if we were to proclaim a kingdom. If no wonder, it is no wonder that Prince Roland suggests we're dealing with identity despite knowing the danger. I see that we may need to be bold. Thank you for your counsel. Okay, let's go. Approach the skip. I wholeheartedly agree. I agree. I have faith in you. You won me over. Wahoo! We did it! Yeah, I'm pretty sure just having all the points in the world just the means I can do whatever the fuck I want. I don't even know if those are the right choices. Well, this just looks like we can just do whatever the fuck. <sighs> it is decided. Svarog shall know the truth of Roland's identity. Benedict, I would ask that you arrange an audience as quickly as possible. Of course, my lord.
Prince Roland of Glenbrook lives. It is a powerful secret that could sway the decisions of the other nations. Knowing this, House Wolfort asks for an audience with Svarog in hopes of divulging that very information and gaining his trust. You must have something of import to tell me. Whatever it is, know that my guard stays. There is something we wish to show you, Lord Svarog, in hopes of earning your trust. <sighs> Prince Roland? They said you perished. Indeed they did. And the rumors will stay that way as long as Gustadolf draws breath. Surely you understand the meaning of this revelation. Indeed I do. Give me time to think it over. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Another exploration? What the hell are we exploring? The same exact place, right? This is the gate. That's weird. Constable, a bird has arrived from our spy at Twinsgate. I've discovered a secret ledger in Svarig's quarters. An unscheduled merchant company has arrived. Cargo uncertain. I shall continue my investigation. It may be an illicit shipment of salt. If we can get our hands on both the salt and the ledger, we can expose their crimes. But we cannot be sure of that just yet, sir. Perhaps we should wait for the next report. No. Well, if we simply sit still, we may lose our only chance of getting that evidence. But Lord Svarog is a powerful man. Even our own formidable forces cannot afford to make a mistake. And it is precisely because he is so powerful that we cannot let these misdeeds go unpunished. I shall assume responsibility for whatever happens. Yes, sir. Oh. The beat cop finds the true crime. Sigrus. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Leave us. Yes, sir. My apologies for summoning you at this hour. I see now the resolve of House Wolfort. I think it best we both speak frankly. We have decided to stand against Gustadolf, just as you have. I. The only reason I purchase illicit salt is to amass the power I need to oppose the Archduke. Gustadolf pursues his ideals, and his alone. He even curtailed the might of my house, as if we were not family. I see. That explains Lord Dragan's efforts at the mines. I remember Lord Dragan's words. The future is in the hands of the ardent youth. I... He was off to say that. He was always asking how long I intended to leave Gustadolf to his own devices. But just who would kill my boy? And why? As we said, we unfortunately do not know who did it. But neither Glenbrook nor Woolfort stood to gain anything from his death. Even if there were something to be gained, we would not have acted without preparing for retaliation. But, as you can see from the current state of Glenbrook, the capital was easily taken while merrymaking over the mines. A fair point. But there is someone who could use your son's death for his own purposes. To put the crown within his reach. Gustadolf. You there! Explain yourself! We found this man eavesdropping on your conversation. You're the guard from earlier. A spy! <sighs> he knows who I am. We shall give chase. Huet, alert the others. So there's a bite now. 
Wait, what about the exploration? There he is. You won't get away. I mean, that had to happen. Oh, he did. Dead. I wonder who he was working for. My apologies. This was the only way to stop him, for sure. You needn't apologize, Huet. I think that was the spy for Thicris, right? That's unfortunate. All he wanted was to know about salt. But now this ship. If that spy was still alive, we might not. We might have been able to get valuable information out of him. <sighs> Our lives would have been forfeit, and anyone known to listen to animals. Her arrow blew him open like a shotgun. Yeah. I feel like him falling off the top of the gate still wouldn't make his blood flare like that. So yeah, it's pretty weird. I have no idea. <laughs> That's freaky. I mean, these gates are pretty tall up. Being con trading illicit salt is one thing, but if Prince Roland's identity was discovered, everything we would have done would be for naught. Lord's Favreau's soldiers are on the search for other spies. Wow, so there's new items here. Really? I mean, I see that one, too. Do I still play Pal World? Um, I'm thinking if there's, like, more patches for it, I might play it. But it needs to have, like, more things to do. I already caught all the Pals, so... Meh. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fun. But it has to get there, I have no idea. Managed to keep the truth from my identity spreading, but the castle of man's life. Uh Missive dropped by the spy. So, the notes. From. Believed to be excellent. Hmm. Oh, just straight into a battle. Okay. I am down. You there, don't move. Lord Sarah Noah, what are you doing here? Sir Sikris. Constable, one of ours has been found dead. How unfortunate. I shall be taking you lot in for questioning. Throw down your weapons. You there, remove your mask. <clears throat> I am sorry, but we cannot comply. And you leave me no choice but to have you all arrested. Huh, <laughs> okay. These people are my guests. I will not tolerate such disrespect, even from you, Sikris. I received a report of suspicious movement in the area. It seems the report was correct. I will have to investigate Twins Gate inside and out. I know not who raised the issue, but that makes it no less dire. 
I shall head the investigation myself. I simply cannot allow it. This responsibility was given to me by the Archduke himself. You dog. Did the Archduke also deem me unworthy of your trust? C Constable, do not falter, men. <laughs> we shall enter Twins Gate by force if we must. Damn. Okay. Cool. He's the guy that had buffs, right? He probably has something new. So we have to kill Sacrus? That sucks. What do you do? Knockback? He just has a maul? All ice. Uh, chance to immobilize. Knock that. Okay. Probably a little. I could see reinforcements from this fight. It's all eyes. We should get Vizana some items. That would be helpful. Leave everything to me. Okay. Should be fine. <clears throat> oh, we didn't even change the formation. Whatever. Let's save. I feel like fighting on top of the gate is kind of stupid. Wait, what's this fight down here? I take orders from no one. Now stand down. Advance, men. We are within our rights to know the truth. That would spell the end of House Wolfort. They leave us no choice but to fight. Stand with Lord Svarog. Let no man through. 
Behold true power. True power. Hear my prayers. Forward march. I will end this. You won't catch me. The blue is like melding in with the gate. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It's like movement wise, anyways. The dawn speaker. Eh. Let's get some I TP. See a path to victory. I don't think giving her a double turn here would be useful, but we we'll must do move it. fast for the future. Fuck it. Forward. I'll do my utmost. Beat me. Whatever it takes. Let's do this. I knew I could trust you. Cool heads shall prevail. You're not, for I am by your side. Fine. I'll keep on then. None will stand in my way. So it falls to me. <laughs> We're two two. I like the fucking battle horn for that. Here shit. Goes. That's pretty good.
My time is now. I must put an end to this bloodshed. Is it my turn? I never thought I would meet House Wolfert in battle. Is it my turn? I think we just Valkyrie. Fuck it. <clears throat> Kill somebody. What's this guy gonna do? Lower speed. That's actually pretty dangerous. I don't know. This won't even kill. Tremble in fear. Hmm. I don't know. My duty shall be done. Yeah, everyone's getting taped TP as their turn skip too. So it's not like it's the worst. I can't tell what- is this a max? No. Weird. I don't know. I see a path to victory. Okay. Clear mind. Can you handle this? For the greater good. Yeah, there you go. That makes what sense. What is the advance party doing? Spar art must be stopped. Forward.
Unite under the Wolford well Banner. Done. Crippling Buff? Is it lower speed? Or what? Oh, strength. Okay. Why is he not attacking? What? Come get me. Come get me. I should have went down. Oh my god. I'm a dumbass. <sighs> Which one's more lame? You'll take a ice blast. Where's Koha? Twelve. He's gonna eat three arrows. Okay, let's not fucking do that. Then that sounds fucking awful. None will stand in my way. Lord Zvarog, allow me to repay my debt to you here and now. I never thought I would see the day we fought side by side like this. I eagerly anticipate seeing your prowess in battle. I'll take you on! Oh, I can't push anyone into water. Uh, that's kind of sick. Uh, let's just push him back then. Fuck it. Out of my way! Yeah, we'll be fine. Shall we begin? Your wings are fast. That's the stuff. Thirty-seven, literally zero damage. Hell yeah. I shall try my level best. Gotta love it. That's not even with bulwark, right? Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> Buffing anybody with this stuff is kind of pointless. So let's do. This must work. Invincible. Ah, me too. My duty shall be done. Well, he never moves, huh? Is it my turn? What's her turn back? Oh, you know what? That won't do anything. Hmm. Then what do I do here, then? I mean, we could just still just do it. This will stop her casting. 
Yeah. Behold true power. She has twenty eight. We just try it, fuck it. I must put an end to this bloodshed. It's not the best, but it's not like it's horrible either. Yeah, it just won't hit everybody. This time character looks busted because he is. <laughs> he is incredibly busted. Those who oppose the heavens I didn't hit go. anybody, right? Yeah, I only hit four. New power overflows with it for the greater good. Whatever. Where are you looking? Oh, he's looking towards the night. Okay, okay. That's not the worst. Can't poison him. Okay, so... I think we just stay. Because I really want to kill uh, the archer. But... Oh no. Whatever. Prepare to face the Dawn Spear.
when is uh she 15 this will serve well my duty shall be done from where shall we strike I'll make it! Ha-ha! Perish! Ah. I'll take it from here. This is far too over. Do you eat? This comma is like so unbeatable. This shit is crazy. I can't lose. The heavens judge you. Like 100% if I ever make mistakes, it's just 100% me. <laughs> I made that shit suck. There's like no the way you could ever lose with this shit. It's so crazy. For the greater good. Keep a clear mind. I can do it. Come at me. Uh. So it falls to me. Get up here. I shall protect you. to take action this is far from over well. she's gonna run into him yeah. good i'll try my best take this my duty shall be done no one escapes oh, me too. i did not think I doubt you would believe me even if I said this was a mere misunderstanding. If you wish to explain yourself, lay down your arms. Doing anything otherwise makes you an accomplice. I can't lose. Let the flames fly. Wait, do we lose if he dies? Oh my, this motherfucker, dude. Are you serious? Do not fucking die, man. We were fucking winning, and then he started going forward, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if that's a bad thing. Here you 
More? Okay. Time to work. I shall do what I can. Keep going. Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Look to my shield. Can you even provoke? Still failed. I see a path. Uh, okay. Whatever. Not that big of a deal. Let us I was trying to do some gimmick shit. This shield. Whatever it takes. Defeat is not an option. I'll do my utmost. Okay, cool. My time is now. Okay, we can just start trying to kill this little caster. The heavens ring. This is the end. And it's back the fuck up. Suffer. None will stand in my way. Why did that do zero damage? I mean, he dodged it. I don't know. Weird. Let me heal your wounds. Uh, who actually needs healing? Okay. Here. Now I'll see this battle through. Let us try out their weakness. Now have another. I must keep a clear mind. Can you handle this? Oh, we don't kill him. Okay. I thought we were like actually gonna kill him in the story, but 
It feels bad. I shall protect you. Or that would have felt bad. Cause he's he's not like he's like evil. He's just doing his job. Behold, that went I well. Trust true. I'll do my utmost. For the honor of House Wolfort. I'll make this quick. To lead, I must grow. Whatever it takes. This is far That'll from do. over. Time to work. Oh, these two are on a puddle. Die. Oh my god. Uh, that sucks. Can't do shit. Definitely give you a double turn. Make it up here. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. This will help. A wasted effort. <laughs> Too obvious. On my honor as the dawn speed. Before my spear, just as I planned. They move behind him. Of course, I can. <laughs> Damn. Uh... Farewell. No, he took my spoils. Re, that's fucking lame as hell. Um, to victory. And where shall we strike? Very well. Tremble in fear. Of course, it paralyzed the dragon. You must keep a clear mind. <sighs> Strike while the iron's hot. We can do I this. I can feel it. Your orders. I shall do what I can. Tis but a trifle. You won't beat me! You'll have to get through me! I shan't hold back. Begin. Is it my turn? I still not in... I can't, uh, cast. For the greater good. This may hurt. Another. Oh, I've done it now. And where shall we strike? The heavens judge you. 
Uh, wrath. Oh my god, whatever. With all my might. Your orders? Your victory is within reach. I shall try my level best. Woohoo! We did it! Excuse me, Jesus. Anything cool? No. Sikris, some unfortunate news has just come to my attention. It appears the soldier over there was illegally selling our fortress's resources. He might be the man you were looking for. Take him with you for questioning. What do you expect me to glean from a corpse? More than you think. Dragan has taught me plenty. Hmm. This transgression was born of my negligence. Give the Archduke my sincerest apologies. Understood, Sikris? Yes, sir. Let us ensure that such misdeeds do not happen again. <sighs> Feels bad. He just wants to do his job. Character stories. Oh, time kit? Okay. So you can peer through time. How did you come to possess such a power? I cannot say. I've been having these visions for as long as I can remember. Hmm. Were I able to see the future like you, I could be of more use to House Wolfort. It isn't all good, you know. Sometimes you see things you wish you hadn't. I saw myself being abandoned by my mother. He is in your hands now. Here is the money we agreed upon. Take this, too. Thank you for your generosity. I shall take good care of him. You shall speak of this to no one. Make sure he wants for nothing. I will return for you one bye day, Bye. Og. Until that time, be good. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. I'll pet the cat for you. And then the vision ends. Whenever I think of my mother, I always see that woman. I don't understand it at all. But I know that lady is my mother. She promised she would return, but... She never came back. I've asked the villagers what my mother gave them, but... They claim to have received nothing. I know I saw it, though. Have you had visions of your mother since? No. Oh, Bumpy. She left me after all. Oh, mother. Why? And where are you now? Kohog. Weird time, kid. My cat also likes ass claps too. Yeah, basically. Thank you for your help earlier. Think nothing of it. We walk the same path now. And together, we shall bring down Gustadorf. It seems we've managed to dispel any doubts you had in us. I do not know what happened in the mines that day, but your words and Gustadorf's do not align. And I cannot bring myself to believe that Gustadorf did not have a hand in Dragan's death. He has always been willing to do whatever necessary to see his ambitions through. Indeed. We've investigated the spies' quarters. It appears he was working for Sikris. And his forces are directly under the Archduke's command. Meaning the man behind the curtain is without a doubt, Gustadolf. This may be yet another ploy to destroy me. Just like my son's murder. Lord Dragan was vital in our plans for peace. 
Yet he did not bother to hide his ambition before Gustadolf. Perhaps he inherited that senseless pride from me. The child of a concubine. What a fool I am. Bringing death upon my own son. Uncle. But no matter how I despair, my son will not return. So I must fulfill his wishes in his stead. Agreed. I must defeat Gustadolf for my family. I shall fight by your side. Wait, he joins our team? Take this as repayment for the uh, cargo. Never mind. This is far too much, Lord Svarog. The remainder is for your army. Use it when the time comes. We cannot thank you enough. Oh, that's pretty happy. These tough times are not over yet. We could not win against Gustadolf if we fought him now. Indeed. But if we can learn about what he's plotting, we may stand a chance. I will continue to be vigilant. May our houses grow ever stronger until then. Hey. Serenoa delivers the salt to Svarog, a powerful minister of Esfrost who secretly wishes for Gustadolf's defeat. <laughs> After learning of Roland's identity, Svarog swears to fight beside House Wolfford to bring down their common enemy. Gustadolf's power grows greater by the day, but House Wolfort is not idle in the meantime. They look to strengthen their own forces, slowly but surely. After seeing the illicit salt to Esfrost, Serenoa makes haste to Hyzant. The Holy One has invited both them and Sorcelay End to the palace. I think we've seen this before too, because this is where we're gonna see the uh, Roselle, right? Oh, hi, Bum. Lord Sarah Noah Wolfort, we are pleased to have you in the capital. Well met. Are you attendant to the Holy One? I do have that honor, yes. I am afraid preparations for your audience are still underway. Pray wait a while longer. Mm -hmm. Very well. Your patience is appreciated. We shall find you once we are ready. We should take this chance to see the city. We still do not know why we were summoned. Rumors, fickle as they may be, may help us steel ourselves for what is ahead. Somehow, I doubt that the commoners are privy to the thoughts of the goddess. Still, it would do us well to acquaint ourselves with her subjects. For the sake of our budding relationship with Hyzant, if nothing else. I agree. Then shall we split up to cover the most ground? I have a mind to visit the source. As you wish. Once we have finished, let us return here to share what we have learned. This country is quite... pleasant, isn't it? Not a dour face in sight. Quite the opposite, in fact. To see their smiles, you would think that inequity, envy, and jealousy were things of fairy tales. A well-governed populace is a happy populace. Or so they say. Just an example we could learn from, methinks. Methinks. If I may speak plainly, I find it somewhat unsettling. Unsettling? How so? Smiles do not always show joy. Is it truly possible to sate the wishes of every woman and man? Are you implying something nefarious is behind all this? Not necessarily. However, I was taught that for every laugh, somewhere a tear is shed. This country was not built without its share of sacrifice. Of that, I am certain. I understand your hesitation, Anna. 
But I think it is unfounded. The country who cares for its citizens is cared for in turn. It needn't be any more complex than that. So, did you discover odd of value? We did. The rumor on everyone's lips is that Minister Sorsley has brought House Wolfort to heal. <sighs> News travels faster than I would expect. That may very well be the reason for our audience. If so, then the time may soon be upon us to decide if we are loyal to Hyzant or otherwise. I will wander the city a little longer. I shall return soon. Okay. So it's a boat city? It's as we feared, milady. None but Hyzantians can enter the source. I see. I would have liked to see where my mother was raised, and where she spent her final days. Her final days? She died here? Many years ago. I know little else of the circumstances of her passing. I thought she escaped this thrice forsaken place. She did. She fled during the chaos of a Rosellan uprising in the midst of the Salt Iron War. It was then that she met my father, the former Archduke. And from their union, I was born, a daughter of Esfrost. Then how'd she... No. Was she captured? In a way, yes. Esfrost was forced to surrender her, or take responsibility for the war's outbreak. And then, well... What a damned farce. I was lonely and heartbroken, but the pendant she left me shone the way through my darkest days. Can't tell you how sorry I am. And dark days there were. Esfrost was her home, but there were those who would not let her forget her ancestry. That she was able to ignore her detractors speaks to the strength of her character. That she excelled in her studies does even more so. You flatter me, Gila. I would never presume to do such a thing. My lord, I kept your better half safe for you. <laughs> Thank you, Eridor. Did you learn aught of interest? We did. It seems all members of the Saintly Seven have gathered at the palace. All of them? Could that have something to do with us? Perhaps, though it certainly bodes ill. In any case, it is clear that we are expected to honor the Hierophant's request for an audience. Demand may be a better word to use. Then perhaps we should return before the attendant comes to seek us out. Okay. I haven't seen this before. That's actually pretty interesting. Not that interesting, but it could be interesting. I have no idea. House Wolford has not a single heroic deed to their name, yet the Hierophant grants them audience as if they are worthy to stand by my side before the Holy One. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Perhaps there is no need to take offense. Perhaps you are being honored. You did bring a formidable ally into the flock, after all. That is a curious interpretation. <laughs> the others in the order are breathless with jealousy at your achievement. They have spoke of naught else since the news arrived. Twas no great feat. The wolf for soon you will have it. What? Twas no great feat. The wolf force were lost, sniveling, begging for a hand to guide them. The others needn't know that, however. The ear of the goddess. You will be the envy of Hyzant. It is well past time for that decrepit Edor to relinquish his position. The future belongs to House End. At last. I shall see that you have a place in it, Denebris. God, I hope I kill him. Again. <laughs> That'd be cool. What a gullible fool. Hell yeah. I get to kill him. I want to kill him. Not... Edor kills him. Kill him with the twins. I am down. I, Sorsley End, 
have brought Serenoa Wolfort to answer the summons of the Holy One. Very good. Then let us begin forthwith. In the name of the Holy One and the Goddess, I shall begin her inquiry into the misappropriation of our nation's salt. Oh, shit. Huh? Straight up? An inquiry? Serenoa Wolfort shall be questioned first. Sorcely End stands accused of forsaking the goddess's blessing, of abusing his station to indulge his own insatiable appetites. You, Serenoa Wolfort, stand accused of aiding his plot, of sullying your own hands by transporting his ill-begotten wares. Okay. I stand accused? On what grounds, Edor? Minister Sorcely, I would advise you to temper your words in the presence of the Holy One. You would dare chastise me? <laughs> For generations, the goddess has entrusted House End with her salt, the lifeblood of our nation. I have treated my duty only with the utmost respect. Just hearing these outrageous charges makes my stomach churn. Really? Then I shudder to imagine your condition whilst you pen these ledgers. Delivered to us by one of the soldiers from the <laughs> He's the dual wielding it. <laughs> the ledgers? Dual wield the ledgers? <gasps> Get owned. Grub? I thought the numbers were quite odd, and when I compared them to the ledger at headquarters, I quickly understood why. Forgive me, Minister Sorsley. Staying silent would have meant my death. Your death? How swiftly your underlings betray you under the slightest pressure. Now, if you are very well finished, let us continue. Lord Serenoa, did you aid Sorsley in these crimes? Answer with the understanding that falsehoods will be treated as affronts to the goddess's mercy and punished <laughs> accordingly. All right. Oops. I understand. It is true. We helped Sorsley peddle his salt. Serenoa, you cur! Get fucking sliced up. Damn. Man, we didn't get to kill him. Lame. Whatever. I mean, what do we get out of this? A slap on the wrist? On behalf of all Hyzant, I thank you for helping us excise this rot from our nation. Be that as it may, the fact remains you bear some responsibility in allowing that rot to fester. Such misdeeds must be answered for. You should have come to us immediately upon finding out his true nature. You had ample opportunity. I admit the fault is ours, but it was not a judgment made lightly. We had to act to protect our home and our people. It was the only way to prevent the loss of both. Your plight has not fallen on deaf ears. However, a crime committed under duress is still a crime. True. For that, I have no words. Only hope. Hope that you will find mercy for us. For my people, I beg of you. Allow our house to enter the protection of the Holy One. You love your subjects deeply. That is plain to see. Very well. I shall state your case to the Holy One on your behalf. <laughs> Do you like how the blood is like... <laughs> the blood path of his body being dragged through? Jesus. Rough. Saranoa Wolfort, heed well the words of the Holy One. Your house safeguards the very heart of Nozelia. And the Wolfort name is known near and far for its fierceness in upholding its duty. The Holy One believes it would be a great loss if your home were to fall victim to S. Frost's ambition. The Saintly Seven has just recently bid farewell to one of its members. His position would be yours if. You oh, we take his position, though. Okay. My Lord, this... That's However, crazy. There is the matter of the Roselle that dwell within your borders. The Holy oh. One would see them returned to the flock where they belong. <laughs> Their home is in the Source, our Holy Land. 
They are descendants of criminals and worse. Their lot is to offer themselves to the goddess so that the sins of their forebears may be cleansed. The Holy One would see all Roselle serve her in penitence, such is her will. You would have us betray the Roselle under our protection? Such mortal judgments are not her concern. The Goddess has spoken. Hmm. Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? My father as well likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, oh, my friends, I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. This we've seen. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you decided? Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcery's corpse. You've got some nerve. I speak from experience when I say that the title of saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled. The blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed. Poor options, both. <laughs> That's true. Oh, man. The, there's like small little tweaks to the conversation there, too. Makes sense. That's pretty cool. In his time, Lord Simone protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant and the village they established within the Wolfort domain. Thirty years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source, where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. After being found guilty at the trial, Saranoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Thus, with House End ruined and a vacant position among the saintly seven to Jesus. be filled, Rumors of House Wolfort's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. The Salt River in Hyzant looks like a weird heart. Yeah. I assume it was it would be more like poetic if it was just like a a dash in between. Or like a lightning bolt through it. Lord Saranoa, I believe it may be in our best interest to turn over the Roselle after all. But they fought so hard to escape, Hyzant. They would never agree to return. It would be a show of good faith to the Saintly Seven and secure House Wolford's safety. Uh. If the situation calls for force, well, we must be prepared to borrow Minister Exham's words. I... I see. Give me time to think over the matter. Where is Frederica? Oh, she... She left for the source with Prince Roland. She said she wanted to see where the Roselle lived for herself. Ah. Indeed, Byzantian law requires all Roselle to make their home at the source. She is most troubled over this, Lord Saranoa. Please, if you could... I understand. I will make for the source at once.
Thalos, thank you for making the necessary arrangements. No need to thank me. I have made sure those with any power in Glenbrook understand their... Oh, yeah. Okay, I know. They're just putting the nobles in place. In their place, I mean. Oh, okay, this is how it's setting it up. Okay, I got you. You have to make sure you fight for the Roselle. Oh, defend them, I get you. Okay. Makes sense. Please, I'd only like- That may be, but outsiders are not permitted to- You see all of this. <clears throat> we are going along the path. you Rosellan wretches time for worship <laughs> Force, young and old the toil in deplorable conditions having the audacity to call it atonement they don't even tend to those who collapse from exhaustion. They treat my people worse than criminals. It breaks my heart to behold such cruelty. I can't scarcely imagine that what it must be to feel suffer. To feel the suffering of those here. They are born with the sins of their ancestors upon their shoulders, then spend their lives laboring at the stores, being treated like filth until they die. It is a cursed fate, but perhaps the ones who are not, who see nothing wrong with such cruelty are the ones who are truly cursed. True. Mm -hmm. They're basically being brainwashed into thinking they're slaves. Yeah, that's basically it. It's not even brainwashed. They're being taught to think this. Almost the same thing. There's a slight difference. But yeah, you're definitely right. <clears throat> Pretty horrible. Such would go against the goddess's will. The Rizal are to work this land to atone for what they've done. They're not to be disturbed. Yet higher yields of salt would benefit all in Rizalia. We deal well enough for ourselves with the current yields. Goddess be praised. She'll share her blessings with you if you come to count yourself. Awful. Yucky. This... Will you still send any Roselle in the Wolfort Domain here? Force them into a life like this? I... It isn't right. It isn't just. I don't care that it would ensure our own safety. Indeed. It would be unforgivable. What is just is constantly in flux depending on the circumstances. That said, protecting people is always the right thing to do. Wouldn't you agree, Saranoa? <clears throat> we've seen that too I thought it would change a little because of our path but it looks like we're yeah this is just the uh the point Sarah Noah I'm gonna vote I'm gonna vote for this shit defend Rosa <laughs> See, we did this last time on our playthrough, because I thought that we were able to get the golden path even if we made some mistakes. 
Incorrect. Not possible. We must decide. Uh, the Roselle are citizens of Wolfort, and there's no future for House that bans its people. Hmm. We need all the soldiers we can get to be protected. Hmm. There are indeed some among them who have been trained to protect the village. Perhaps, but if so. Political climate looks unexpected. Turn. Sir. Can we not use continued trade with the Wolfor domain as a means to negotiate the Roselle safety? Let's see, Sangmin as well. However. Hi, Sam, the goddess is absolute. We cannot be certain it matters. Is even up I am domain. decided. Oh, I think I messed up there. Okay, yeah, I definitely messed up. I kind of fell into his logic trap. Lame. Whatever. The result are people. The wolf for domain. If we defy the higher fat, we'll face the same fate as house. Again. And. Hmm. Okay. I feel like perhaps we could you get the Holy State of Brahms not to attack the Roselle village. The Holy State needs our power if they are to fight the Duchy. We can use that to our advantage in negotiations. First part. I was caught off by, by the Archduke's decree. It could be a harbinger of war indeed. I must defend my people against the Hierophant called the Lord's Pride. I would hate to be the reason that people's faith in their house is shaken, especially a. I can tell they mean that in earnest. I wonder about that. I don't know what to do. Oh shit, I fucked up again. Damn, I am what uh, do you need? getting owned. I've seen the harsh reality of the source and it cannot subject my people. If we accept the goddess's teachings, there's a chance that we even put Frederica in danger? I mean... Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh -huh. Trying to bring a house for to her side. I doubt they would treat your betrothed so I callously. require some time to think. Damn, I am getting owned like crazy, damn. I don't know how I feel about that. Lord Sarah. The people would never forgive us for doing something so heartless with the support. Bring easy. We'd be easy prey for the high holy state. Hyzen can no longer trade with Esfrost and Glenbrook, as their only remaining partner. We're gra we have grounds for negotiation. Even if I was named a saint, we are still unbelievers. I doubt they would grant me much power. I think two. Three also kind of works too. Perhaps. 
You could use a desperation to secure Roselle safety. If so. Do you harbor any doubt? The holy state acts in accordance with the higher fans' wishes. Uh I fear giving in to one request would only begin okay. It is not the holy state but the higher fan that I fear. Their orders are cold and callous. They wish to have the Roselle back so badly they could use us to that end. Indeed. I agree. They must harbor their suspicions of us being unbelievers. Even if we relinquish the result, we find a, a way to keep fair breath within bending to their I mouth. must hear what the others think. Ah, uh, damn. Let's see. I don't know. We really messed up on some of the logic on those choices. I'll just look at a guide after if I messed up though, because then we do want to cast our votes. get the gold path. We face a difficult. You make a convincing argument. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. You have my vote. I have faith in you. What the fuck? Yeah, wow. It, I guess the points really do just carry your Scales ass no matter what. Will illuminate the path we've sure. All right. Cool beans. The I'm down. So we don't. It don't matter. That is like 100% proof that no matter what choice, you're fine. I suspected it would come to this. We have chosen our path and <clears throat> we will refuse to hand over the Roselle to Hyzant. Why did close so abruptly? Did you see that? It like, it's one straight to black right there. Did that do that last time? I thought it would like, hmm. <clears throat> That's weird. But yeah, the rest of this shit we've seen before, so we can just start skipping again. We don't have that much time, so... Especially because of all the computer hijinks I had earlier, so... Let's fucking go. Why? Why attack our village? Hierophant's orders were to return you to Hyzant. <laughs> Over my dead body! Um, Let's go help the Rizel. Did Silvio accept our offer? Indeed he did. One glimpse of the reward set him on his way to the Wolfort Domain. Then all is in order. Care to wager how House Wolfort will respond? Why bother? If they comply, we make use of them. If they resist, we crush them. Either way, we endure. How ruthless of you. Boy. I mean, I'm gonna try and at least do three more story missions, at least. Try is the key word. I don't know. Come. Okay.
Seven movement. Damn. That's kind of crazy. I remember this mission so well. Shit was such a pain in my ass, it's insane. Nah, we just go all all in still. And give him the lightning. You're good to go. Who do I actually replace on my team if I want to use Archibald? I don't think I can, or I don't think I will, but I think it would actually be. I shall bring victory. I shall bring victory. Hmm. Yeah. Understood. I think it would actually be him. I'd replace Max Ball. Narv and Archibald are like both really good. And obviously having a second tank would be nice, but that would mean I have to grind. I'll make him a decision by the time we finish this shit, so it won't be the worst. I think our strat, because these spellcasters are so hard to fight. Finding a way to kill the healer is probably like the best thing to do, and then we just try and fight Rufus. I think that's what we did last time. Alright. I think if there's anything else we could do, but I think we're fine. Laser do it. Hopefully I saved. I think I didn't. But whatever. You fail to understand the situation and with Hush. Very well. So how do we want to do this? I see a path to victory.
I guess we just do this. Then. Okay. This must work. <clears throat> For the future of House Wolford. For my people. Yes, just like that. Forward. For the greater good. Definitely ram this guy off. Out of my way. I'll take it from here. <clears throat> Is there a ladder down here? That's okay. It's kind of lame. Go quick. Splendid. My time is now. Okay. Nothing left to lose. It'll take a damn sight more than that to bring me down. Good to see you finally woken up, Silvio. She's gonna lose her cover. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
heavens judge you. A breath from above. My turn. Can you poison her? No. Wow, that didn't poison. Huh. Okay. That sucks. I will not fail. Ha, who's next? Die! I shall protect you. One, two, three? Nah, that won't. Fit. Yeah, this this can't reach, I think. Okay, go from behind. Is it my turn? Can you handle this? Whatever it takes. to do this. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. As long as he didn't get paralyzed, that was good. I got slightly scared, but what? What? Where are you looking? I can't even tell. So I should be able to. shall prevail.
Expect or not, for I am by your side. One step closer to our hope. Let us pry out their weakness. Death must wait. Okay. In honor of House Wolfort. <laughs> Unite under the Wolfort Ooh, banner. Very nice. Is that all you got? Is he dead? Is he gonna act twice? For the greater good. I guess we need to just attack. Fuck it. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Man, I don't know. Her TP will still be the same. But... <laughs> yeah, Azana's still too slow. Or maybe Kohog is too fast. Because all I need is to have Kohog always move in front of Izana. What's his speed at? 35? I mean, if I just gave him 3 speed, uh... Yeah, if he had 37 speed, he would over- he would overlap Izana every time, so... That's not even that bad. I guess we could just hmm. My time is now. Now nah, just do it. Don't think too hard about it. Let's just fucking do the combo again. I am down. I 
they must put an end to this bloodshed. Why is this turn already passed? Fuck. Well, that's a lot of damage I didn't get. That sucks. So this combo doesn't hit anybody. This sucks. It's not even a combo. <laughs> nothing, nothing linked. <laughs> this is awful. Ew. Well, this sucks. Yeah, Zana. Victory is mine. Uh, May your legacy wither and die. Fuck. You've lost your way, young Saranoa. You risk sullying your house's good name in pursuit of some perverse sense of justice. Oh, they ain't bad. My turn. Yeah, because I, I ran his time back, he didn't get to move before him. Ah. <sighs> That sucks. A lot. So victory is within reach. Makes me sad. I'm now really sad. I let him die like that. Yeah, we can't even res him. Uh, why did I fucking do that, dude? That was fucking awful. This will serve well. Is it my turn? You'll feel this later. Okay. If I still breathe, I still fight. Fucking Jerome, always dying. Forward. 
I think I can banner everyone, right? Yeah, nice. Unite under the wolf voice banner. Great. Healers over here. I think we leave this guy to die to poison. Yeah. So now we just start heading over to. Yeah. Okay. Behold true power. Tremble in fear. <sighs> I must keep a clear mind. Let's try this. Let us pry out. Ah, uh, okay. Give him another double turn. We make it up here. Victory is mine. May your Too legacy strong. wither and die. I shall protect you. Can I pop up on the other side? It's not the worst, but I'll have no. Oh, he didn't heal himself. Okay, this is fine. keep a clear mind. Good shit. Can you handle this? That's a lot of archers, holy shit. That's a shit ton of archers. Is he looking at me? Oh, yeah he is. <clears throat> Forward. 
Behold true power. The heavens rain. Oh. I see a path to victory. A brief respite. Prepare to die. Yep. <clears throat> Whatever it takes. Let's do this. I shall use it well. I shall protect you. Damn. Am I gonna really die for spoils or no? Fuck the spoils, dude. Prepare to die. Huh. Nice try. My turn. Uh. <laughs> Forward. Uh, we definitely kill this archer.
Let's do this. Ooh, very nice. Is it my turn? Yeah, he is dead no matter what. Good. are turning. Uh, I haven't attacked with Anna significantly in a very long time. But whatever. Who cares? Oh my, he fucking dodged it. Oh no. Oh, this is a nightmare. Stay down. Shall we begin? Be at ease. This will help. I'll try my best. It takes. We can do this. This will not be taken for granted. Come get me. Whatever it takes. That's a shit ton of archers. What to do? Prepare yourself. I see a path to victory. Oh wow, you blew them all up. Cool. Here goes. I wasn't expecting that. Take this. Forgive 
Give me my kid. Behold, true power. <laughs> the heavens rain. I shall do what I can. I love ninety eight percent. I missed. Are you serious? Holy shit! I am so cursed. Incredible. What the here. fuck was that bullshit? We can do I this. Shall use it well. I'll do my utmost. Eh, whatever, okay. I shall try my level best. the dawn spear time to take action this 
This is far from over. Crazy. Defeat is not an option. Very well. Stay down. Here goes. I will end this. Victory is within reach. Allow victory is within reach. I shall do what I can. Fear not, for I am by your side. There is no mercy on the battlefield. For the people! I shall protect you. Ah, you're open. This shall That's a lot of tier three mats. All by my design. My turn. It's always this map, isn't it? Where they have like runaways. Like they just don't even fight anymore. They just like sit around and just do their own thing. It's really weird. Stay composed. Like, see, again. they're fucking running away again. That's this shit. Allow me. My utmost thanks. I'll do my utmost. To victory. On my honor as the dawn speed. <laughs> You can do it with enemies. No, never mind. This is an ally. I got excited. I got super excited over something. I was like, well, are you serious? Never mind. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, all right. I mean, whatever. Character's a dev kit. 
Defeat is not an option. Defeat is not an option. This character is definitely a death tip. My time is now. Tremble in fear. I appreciate it. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Count on me. Here you now go. I'll see this battle through. I shall do what I can. I shall protect you. Prepare you just as I planned. Right. Here goes. You'll feel this later. I'll take it from here. This is far I from over. Defeat is not an option. Perish. To lead, I must grow. Time to work. Suffer. You will escape. This bout is mine. Very well. I see a path to victory. I'll try my best. I can do it. I shall do what I can. Oh, damn. See this battle through. Whatever it takes. Yeah. I shall protect you. Your defenses crumble. Oh no. Time to work. Mm, we got everything we wanted. That spoil over there, it's not gonna be the difference, so. Your victory is with Inbri. I feel stronger already. Okay. Wow, we got another set of resurrection earrings. That's crazy. You will literally just keep getting the the mission items. That's super fucking nuts. Wait, I beg you. Would you truly kill me, your ally, just to protect the Roselle? The Roselle are a tainted people. Your efforts shall bear no fruit. How dare you insult my people? He just said uh, he's in my How ally. Could you? He literally just said he's my ally when he just fucking <laughs> betrayed me. Like, this is the second time. Bruh. I lose too many employers this way. I'd best make myself scarce. As if we'd let you get away. Word of this can't get out. Too late. Silvio sent word of your betrayal eons ago. Expect Hyzant's army on the morrow. They'll finish the job there. And so we've bought no time at all. Okay, let's fucking skip this shit.
Jerome is a young man of formidable convictions. Indeed. He took the fate of his people in his hands and fought for their freedom. Just as you have done. I will not see the Roselle stripped of their humanity and treated as objects. Hyzant's goddess is all... History has... Cordelia and the people of Glenbrook cry... Yeah, 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 we've seen this shit too. Ow. Ay. Serenoa making a valiant stand in defense of... Oh, we actually get to explore it again? Okay. I feel like if Eridor actually ever does die, it's because I'm horrible. <laughs> like, there should be no reason he should ever die. I don't know. Gross. We gotta find all the clues in here. We just want to live our lives. Why must we be chased to the ends of the earth? You did this, this is your fault. <laughs> go, you say, go where? Anywhere you will survive. Think of it as an opportunity for a fresh start. And what will you do? I will fight for you until the bitter end. I gain liberty by climbing the ladder. Hell oh, yeah. I don't even know where the treasure in our village, but... Mommy and Daddy sometimes call me the best dish treasure. <laughs> mm. There's a spell in Jerome's abode. Never seen a pelt of this color. Perhaps Jerome's parents took up such a liking to this. Mm hmm. <laughs> This counts as information. If you found it already, you don't need to do it again. Oh, really? Oh, you're right. Yeah, okay. So I already got all this stuff too. So we're gonna skip all this. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I will save, and then we'll see if we can actually just do this. Otherwise, uh, I will restart. Because we do need to find the pink rock. Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenoa. 
the pink rock. Could this pink rock be the key? Where did you find that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So it. The pink rock is part of the what is goddess this? statue in Hyzant that Frederica's mom broke off. Yeah. Lord Saranoa, how unfortunate it is for us to meet under such circumstances. But for disobeying the Holy One's order, I must strike you down. Before that, Minister Exham, there is something we wish to show you. It is a mere fragment of something we have discovered in this village. It is a crystal made entirely of salt. What madness is this you speak? This is salt indeed. But how is this possible? It appears to have been passed down among the Roselle, and in a quantity large enough to rival the source. Unbelievable. Perhaps so, but we have proof. Salt can be found in places other than the sacred grounds beneath the goddess's feet. I am certain the implications do not escape you. What is it that you want? An audience with the Holy One, and a guarantee of safety for us and everyone in this village. It would be a waste to dispose of both the crystal and House Wolford here. Very well then. I shall secure you an audience with the Holy One. And you have my word that the village will be safe from harm. Thank you, Minister. Exham oh, seems to be. I wish I see the Holy One's face contorted so. Exham seems to be the only one with stance. I don't know. I mean, like, he's ambitious as any other. We owe our lives to this. A crystal of salt. Or salt crystal, shall we call it? The Holy State's teachings are false. Right, right, right. We set to undermine all of Hyzant because they are a bunch of House bigot Wolf slave owners. The Roselle in defiance. Yeehaw. Okay. Wow, there's really no additional? Okay, whatever. We granted you an audience because of Minister Axam's petition, but I did not expect you to show us this. A crystal made of salt. How very fascinating. It certainly does contradict the doctrine here in our blessed land. Or it would, were it real. Have you any proof that this was not created by magic? Or technology well with all due respect minister i have a question for you in return what do you think of s frost and glenbrook's decree to stop trade with hyzant i think it nothing more than a threat neither would last very long without our salt gustadoff is no fool such an edict would not come without proper countermeasures in place. Countermeasures such as another source of salt, for example. Having their own salt would make Hyzant redundant, at best, and your nation would soon find itself in dire straits without the salt taxes revenue. What is it you want from us? Your full support. Lend us your strength. And together we can defeat Esfrost, and Hyzant's ties to all nations will remain intact. You mean to start a war. The Kingdom of Glenbrook may be naught but a puppet now, but it was once your homeland. You understand this, yes? We do. Even so, my people do not wish for war. We must try to resolve this peacefully first. Do you think Gustadolf can be reasoned with? Need I remind you that it was he who invaded Glenbrook? He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
Be that as it may, neither my people nor soldiers will accept it as a reason to go to war. Then I shall give you one. Oh yeah, he reveals himself. Yeah. For I am the second son of King Regna. Roland Glenbrook. You live. There is no mistaking that face. Huh. So the prince lives to slay his kingdom's invader. We could not ask for a better reason. If you need a just cause to go to war, let it be me. We must stop Gustadolf. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Oh, Holy One, have you heard? Pray, tell me what you would have us do. It shall be done. Wolfort, Prince Roland, heed the words of the Holy One. What endings have I done? I've done Frederica's first, and then... Benedict's. So we already the know State what the Holy Heisen One is. Stands with you. The Holy One would see you defeat Esfrost and restore peace to Norzelia. Our nation shall spare no effort in your fight against Gustadolf. From this day forth, we support Prince Roland as our commander and Lord Serenoa as one of the saintly seven. Me? A saint? We are brethren now. We ride to war together. Even after we well, would you look at that? We secured High Zant's support, and you even got yourself named one of the saintly seven. That's like it's so weird because even in our other playthrough, it just feels so weird that we just didn't defy them, but then they were just like, "Yeah, you're a saintly seven now." Have at it. Like, I get they want to use me. We but... also received a signed mm. document stating the Roselle and Wolfort are left in our care. Oh, cool. Good going, lad. Oh, it is Benedict and Roland to whom we owe this victory. Everyone here has suffered so much on my behalf. My weakness and... You've got nothing to apologize for. I already told you. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. And you shall... No, neither did I know of Prince Roland's survival. I thought he had perished. Likewise, what did you make of the Holy One's decree? Hyzant is a grand nation, but unfortunately not one blessed with a bountiful harvest of anything other than salt. Were we not able to trade, there is no doubt our nation would wither to naught. We have relied solely on salt for much too long, and that reality was made painfully clear to us. <laughs> Harsh words, but true nonetheless. Do you think we can triumph over Esfrost? Mark my words, Minister Cancel. There is no fight Exham Marshal cannot win. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our Elfric to House Wolfort. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the they could easily sink in as frosty ship or two. Ah, <sighs> seen all this. Definitely. It is nice to get a refresher at the very least, but yeah, I, I can clearly remember like the first part of the sentence and it's like, oh yeah, okay, I know exactly what they're talking about. Just talking about investing in the war. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? If Sikris's missive is to be believed, I'm afraid matters are far too grave to be left to anyone else. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being used to build a weapon of untold destructive power. Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. 
Sparog is. What way am I gonna help defend? Oh, free capture Glenbrook. Glenbrook? That's true. There is a choice here, isn't there? It's three. Um, I don't know. Those are the Archduke's wishes. I implore you not to forget that this is his final op. Come to think of it, I heard that Wolfort was added to your saintly ranks. Where might he be? I'm afraid I cannot answer that. How disappointing. That wretched woman. Those are hardly wishes. Esfrost all but demands us open the source to restore our diplomatic relations. The duchy fears neither a lack of salt nor the goddess's shield. We can assume they have a plan in mind. Then this was no more than a ploy to stall for time. We had best expedite House Wolford's plans to take the capital. Yep. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we'll vote on it for sure. So it's not the worst. Dun, dun. You wish to lend us Hyzant's new weapon. <laughs> the elf brick. Purple diamond explosive. Okay. You have made a grave error in allowing thieves to raid the archives, Constable Sigris. What is this about? Forgive me. My guards gave chase as soon as they noticed intruders, oh. but they'd already fled beyond our reach. What did they take? Luckily, they were unable to gain entry to where we keep our more sensitive text. All they were able to make off with was a single book penned by the late Lady Orlea. Orlea? She left behind a message of sorts? She'd bid it be passed on to Lady Frederica when she came of age, but it seems those wishes were forgotten. Thalos or Erica must have hidden it from her. They derived no greater pleasure than from tormenting her. Do we know what was written in this book? No. Storage records indicate it was protected by some arcane seal. It must be of some significance. If she would go to such lengths to protect it from prying eyes. Perhaps something to do with the Rosellan liberation, for which she fought so fiercely. Or perhaps it is not but a mother complaining to her daughter of a duchy they both despise. I shall send a party to hunt down the thieves at once. No need. Such ruffians are unlikely to be in the employ of our foe. No doubt they were simply looking to loot us to fill their own purses. It is more important that we dispose of Svarog and finish the Nell with all haste. Dispatch your soldiers there. By your grace. Yeah, the the thieves were the the bandits we fought earlier in the stream, the redhead. The redheads. I don't even know what they're called. There's mountain bandits, right? I have no idea what their band is called. But yeah, the daughter-father combo. Dude, that... The... The archer girl? Benedict Bandit is so fast. Like, Omega fast. 38 speed is insane. Like, I'm not even sure, like, I have any characters that even have 38 speed. That was unbuffed, too. She just has that. Ah, tidings from Erica. She says Hyzant refused our final offer. You seem surprised. There was no... I know that. But the negotiations were meant to buy us time. Yet it seems their soldiers are already on the move. Damn it all! This wasn't supposed to happen. If you play with fire, you get burned. Now we have no recourse but to meet them in battle without the Archduke. So it has come to war... 
The twins are a bunch of bitches. All they do is cry and moan because they can't have it the easy way. <laughs> that's that's basically their fucking story. Every time. And any time that you ever feel like, oh, it should be like we should feel sorry for them. No, they're just complete bitches. I apologize, but are Every you time. suggesting we destroy the dam around Telior Reservoir to start? All right. Okay. Yeah. This is the voting. Okay. We're not gonna destroy the dam. I think, okay, so this is a three-way. This is a three-way we have to... Uh, okay, we did infiltrate the castle last time. That shit was kind of lame, actually. I was kind of disappointed. Destroy the bridge and trap the enemy in the castle, then negotiate. Um, and then destroy the dam. Destroying the dam's ass. I don't like that at all. Because destroying the dam also means that you destroy part of the ca the... You do, like, incredible damage to the castle, but I don't even think that will make a difference story-wise, right? So. But, I don't know. Uh... So you would choose Frederick's plan. I might I inquire as to why. The Norzellian or the Norzellia River was originally prone to heavy flooding, but you're not be sure how much damage they will the damage will spread. Tellier's reservoir is where the kingdom gets its water, and between the dam and the bridge, the latter is far easier to rebuild. I feel like that's true actually. Hmm. The bridge is simpler and requires less labor and resources, but a battle cannot be won by simply looking at the profit and losses. Oh, I definitely fucked up bad. It's supposed to be the first one. Fuck! Uh, damn, that sucks. Okay, um... Who am I trying to convince? Oh yeah, and right here. Yes, sir. Enemy may already be aware of the tunnels, but no one's anticipating a flood. The capital is swarming us as frosty soldiers. We must prepare ourselves to make sacrifices we are to reclaim the city. Uh, trapped as frosty. Hmm. Hmm. It'll take time and effort, but we'll make it damage the people. The capital can be repaired, but the dead people- uh, the dead cannot be brought back to life. The lives of the people should outweigh the importance of the efficiency. We must have the people's support. If we were to lose it, even reclaiming the capital, the capital cannot be the kingdom together. That's- this third one is so true. And this one is true too, but... Certainly. I've heard the Duchy of supporters in the Grove by the day. Even if we were to claim victory, if great harm were to befall the crown city, the people's dissatisfaction would turn on the wall. Might be best for us to tread a path of less destruction. Yes! I must hear what the other that is so true. Omega true. Aye, lad. Destroying the dam. Yeah. I think destroying the dam just sucks. Uh, trap. Trap them. Please. We will need the people's support when rebuilding the capital. To do so, we must win it back fair and square. All damage is possible. Number one sounds good. I think it would be the most efficient plan to three. Driving S Frost into the corner with only a single bridge to mourn and one that can repair fairly easy. Eh. There's no kingdom without a people. Glenbrook. I can't even speak English. Glenbrook won't have much of a future if we ignore him for the sake of victory. Mm. In which case, Frederick is planning. Consider this. Okay. We cannot foresee the damage that a deluge would do in a city. Stealing into the castle would put Roland in great danger. Eh. 
I know that House Wolfert would claim victory without having to sacrifice capital of people. Winning isn't everything. We must face the consequences of our actions and take responsibility for rebuilding. To that end, I won't see as a little... I would see as a little damage as possible. I mean, this one supports what we picked before. Hmm, tough. I kind of want to... Yeah. You wish for Elfric to blow up the bridge? We cannot be sure of Elfric's power. We set off near the castle. We may be putting your, her majesty in danger. Certainly. Uh, Whiteholm Castle is alone. I would love to see it brought to harm. A hard choice. Meh. I. Okay. If Roland's wishes for the people's support, he must act in a way befitting of royalty. Unfortunately, flooding the city surprises the attack. Um, no matter how much time negotiation takes, it's still better than bringing harm to the people, and the bridge can be easily rebuilt. If House Wolf I would choose for it way. Safe Good point. Okay. Oh, you know what I missed? It is time to cast our votes. There is probably a vendor in town, and I was supposed to talk to him. And which strategy do we entrust the future? Approach this. I mean, I would just bought range stuff. I believe. Range healing stuff. So whatever. The way forward. Yeah, I knew. I knew I fucked up with Benedict. That was so bad. I just didn't read into that. I feel like Benedict is the one I have the most problems with. Like trying to We collapse the bridge and trap the enemy within the castle, keeping the cost. Yeah, that's definitely my bad. <coughs> you will safeguard the people, drive the enemy into the castle, and negotiate. You have chosen a righteous path, Wolfort. But do you really think negotiations will prevail? Such sympathy may be your downfall. Even so, this is the path we have chosen. Then walk tall. It is time to test your mettle. I must return to Hyzant and see Minister Kamsel. Next we meet, you will have both of our armies at your backs. You have my thanks. We cannot afford to lose this fight. For Norselia. I thought this battle was for Glenbrook. This is not a simple struggle for power, Minister Serenov. The goddess, the source, iron, the war. Noselia needs to be born anew, right now. The people of every nation are searching for a young standard bearer to guide them. A standard bearer? Yes, people like you and me. This war is a fine opportunity for us to show our worth to Noselia. We definitely saw that too. You love this theme? I do too. It seems awesome. I wish they had more soundtrack, but I mean, obviously, you can't have it all, right? It's a fine. House Wolfort and Hyzant join forces. Well then, my lady, are... Minister Saranoa, Minister Kamsel and myself have brought what troops we could muster. I am grateful for your assistance. It was an arduous journey. Is there anywhere the soldiers could rest? 
We've prepared barracks at the harbor. Please use them freely. You do think of everything. Aizat has not mobilized a force so large since the Salt Iron War. Yet I hear you intend to settle this not by battle, but by parley. The Holy One will not agree to any half-hearted measures. The pressures of a large army on the capital's threshold is part of our plan. Come inside and I will explain the rest. <laughs> this we have not seen. For sure. General, House Wolfort and Hyzant have joined forces. There are indications their armies intend to march upon the capital. Which direction will they come from? We cannot yet be certain. Close the city gates and rally the garrisons. I want the way to the castle completely blockaded. And we ought to consider their attack from the river. House Wolfort knows very well how difficult this castle is to take. I doubt they think to capture it with a direct assault. Indeed. Byzantian soldiers are used to desert conditions. Doubtful they'd be keen to engage us in a marine battle. Though acting on that assumption and sending all our troops to defend the land route does leave a vulnerability the enemy could exploit. Send a party to scout along the riverbanks, then have them report to the harbor and ready our ship. Yes, General. Why beat around the bush? We have the soldiers, we should strike and end them. It's best to avoid open battle. With the capital and White Home under our control, we have the advantage. All that tells me is you're frightened of Wolfort. There is no enemy safe not to fear. A leader's hubris is the death of her soldiers. Frederica is attacking us. What does it matter how many soldiers die? I command you to kill Frederica. Avril. Jesus. Personal grudges have no place in the battlefield. Silence. Gustadolf entrusted us with the castle's protection in his absence. Noble as frosty blood flows through our veins. How dare you order us about? You do well to remember what you are, Flora. A simple orphan who doesn't even know her true name. Yet it is this simple orphan in charge of our army. Insult me all you like. I will not allow open battle. Obstinate woman. No matter. The reinforcements our brother sent are under our command. Okay. I shall lead soldiers into the capital myself and crush Wolfort's forces when they arrive. Crazy. Is this the S Frost I am to defend? General of Laura. <laughs> Fucking detestable ass people, I swear to God. Get this garbage out of here. <laughs> Spies have ascertained the situation at the capital. The bulk of the enemy is holed up in Whiteholm Castle. Right now, they don't seem to be very active. And what of the common folk? Their daily lives progress apace. It seems the enemy has yet to notice our movements. Perfect conditions to execute Lady Frederica's plan. If the people are at ease, we should be able to seize the capital without resorting to all-out battle. Thank goodness. Then let's review the plan. First, my retinue shall take a small vessel to Whiteholm Castle and destroy the bridge. Are you certain you want to go by yourselves? We can lend you some soldiers. The fewer of us there are, the less likely we are to be spotted. We'll manage. We'll have the blast crystal. Oh yes, a bridge like that'll come falling down pretty easy. You'll see. The explosion will be your signal to march into the capital and keep the people calm. Without... Without using force, yes. I shall impress upon my soldiers they are not to act rashly. Thank you, Minister. As for you, Minister Campsell, we'd like you to take command of the naval forces to blockade the castle. Very well. I can't say I'm much experienced in marine warfare, but I'll do my best. Destroy the bridge, capture the town, blockade the river, isolate the enemy in the castle and turn that impregnable fortress into their prison. Once they're trapped, they'll have no choice but to parley with us and release their stranglehold on Glenbrook. I hope you're right. A word of caution before we begin. 
Prince Roland, you are aware they will likely use Queen Cordelia as leverage when the time for parley comes? Yeah. But no matter what pressure they apply, we cannot allow them to break us. Should the worst come to pass... They'll probably just kill her. Yeah, I could see that too. I do not expect the fight to regain control of our kingdom to be painless. They kill Cordelia. <sighs> Good. We have our plan. I don't really know. Then we shall depart at once. This will be interesting at the very well. Definitely have never seen. Erica, Thallus. I cannot put off fighting them any longer. My, you're certainly calm for someone about to be sold off in the morrow. Sold off? You would compare my marriage into House Wolfort to trading coin for flesh. Why, I am to be a beacon of allyship. A bridge between our two lands. Yes, yes. So tell me, dear, how do you plan on seducing the Wolfort boy? Wait, let me guess. You'll use the same charms your mother did on our father. <sighs> oh, enough cajoling, Erica. You're apt to make her cry. And Frederica, you know you don't have to take such abuse in silence, don't you? In any case, you seem to be under the impression that you've been entrusted with some crucial task. That couldn't be further from the truth. This is only to get you out of the way. Same as your mother. You're no use to anyone in Esfrost. <laughs> but you already know that, don't you? Well, every happiness to you, dear sister. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking villains. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. The world I knew before was so very limited. I, I honestly wish I could No matter go what back. awful thing happened to me, I believed I could do nothing but suffer in silence. I just want to kill the twins again. Staying quiet in the face of injustice is tantamount to condoning it. I needed to stand up and fight for myself. Becoming part of House Wolfort was the best thing to ever happen to me. Erica, Thallus, I'm done running. Hmm. What time is it? Oh shit, it's 12.28. Man, I fucking got owned by my graphics card. Ugh. A small ship slips silently into That's my bad. The board are none other than the elite Wolford fighters led by Sarah Noah himself. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough time. Oh, this sucks. We, at least we did three story missions, but man, this is pain. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just leave it for tomorrow and do like the whole recapture Glenbrook episode. And then maybe if we finish it fast enough, we can keep going. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever. There's no like point where I'm like, oh yeah, we have to make sure this is done. I'm literally playing this game all over again just to see more story. So, whatever. Ugh. Yeah, sorry, I came. I, I started the stream late. Ugh. It's okay, though. Ugh. Everything seems to be working now, so. Uh, yeah. I will stream tomorrow. And we will keep going. I want to see some endings. So. We're pretty close. So, it won't be that bad. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Quidgy Bee? I can't tell if that's a lot. Whatever. But yeah, thanks for the follow. And uh, thank you very much for the subscribe. The King. 
I can't say that name. That's fucked up. That's hyper fucked up. Okay, yeah, thanks for that. Okay, have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. 7 o'clock central. I'll try and be on time because I got owned by my stream. I got owned by OBS and I got owned by my graphics card. Oh well. See you. Pew, pew.